Hello guys, today I want to present you my new course on Laravel Daily Com, which is Eloquent the Expert Level. In fact, it's not absolutely new, it's a reshot, republished, refreshed old course, which I have released a long time ago. It was one of my first courses, Eloquent Expert Level. It was back then in Laravel 5.7, so quite a lot of syntax things have changed since then in Eloquent, new ideas, new things like attributes, more functions to filter the queries and stuff like that. So I decided to reshoot it from scratch with new ideas, new features, remaking the old features into the new syntax. So this is the result. And usually when I release a new course on Laravel Daily Com, I publish a few videos here on YouTube for free. So if we take a look inside the course here on YouTube, you will have three videos today, tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow. And if you want the full course, subscribe to the membership of Laravel Daily, monthly or yearly, and you get access to this course, other courses, and also premium tutorials you can see on the top menu. So today, the first free video is about just artisan make model. Do you know all of the options of that artisan command? Let's take a look in this video and comment below if you found out something new. Of course, we all know the artisan command PHP artisan make model, but do you know all of its options and parameters? And there are new added with almost every Laravel major version like Laravel 8 or something. So let's look at them one by one and see what we can generate with the model. So for example, you generate the model post with dash M. Do you know what M stands for? It's for migration. So if we do that, automatically it generates not only the model, but also the migration file. Next, let's try to rename the model. And also you can generate the controller with that. Controller, which would be called also car controller. And also you can specify whether that controller is a resource controller, meaning generate the content in that controller for all the seven methods of the CRUD. Index, create, store, edit, show, update, and delete, seven. Let's try to do that. And let's actually look inside. What is inside of that car controller? So we open that car controller and you can see not only that methods are created, index, create, store, and others, but also route model binding is here according to the model. So we have show car and we don't need to do find or fail here inside of the methods. Another thing with that controller, you can also specify, for example, make model phones, that it should be an API controller, which means that it will generate not the seven methods, but the five methods. Because for the API, APIs don't have create and edit forms. That's why if we open the phone controller now, we have index, store, show, update, and destroy. So we don't have create and edit methods. Next, if you do use resourceful controllers, you can also generate form request classes. And by the way, this was my pull request to the original Laravel core. So in Laravel 8.70, from what I remember, they released the feature that I have built, which is dash R caps lock or dash 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 requests from what I remember. But I prefer this syntax and let's see what it generates not only the model and the migration and the controller, but also store and update requests. And not only that, if we open that project controller, we open that and those form request classes are automatically injected here in the store and in the update and filled here in the use section on top. Next kind of group of things that you can generate with the model is about fake data or testing data with factories and seeders. It doesn't have to be fake data, it's just for seeding the data, which has parameters of dash F and S. F stands for factory, S stands for seeder. So if we do that, we have the model and we have the factory and we have the seeder. Those will be empty, but we'll have structures to fill the actual logic in them. And the final thing, if you do make model for example, item and have dash A, which stands for dash dash all, it will generate all of the above, everything that I've listed here. So let's do that. We have model, factory, migration, seeder, form requests, controller, and policy. Oh, that's what I forgot, the policy. So if we do make model, 
policy, it also generates the policy for that book, for the model, which will contain book policy, view any, view method, create, update, delete, restore, force, delete. So all of the models, like you would have PHP Artisan make policy. So see how many things you can generate with just make model command knowing its parameters.